Hey gang, Zippo. Uh, said earlier, uh, well, you may not have heard yet if you didn't watch that video, so let me back up a little bit. What we're doing, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to change a head gasket on your small cast iron or even aluminum block engines or you know horizontal, verticals, twins, what have you that are flatheads. Um, so pretty straightforward. First thing you'll do is you'll come in and you'll loosen all your bolts. Take them all out. When you take them all out, you're going to have, obviously, your head. And you're going to have your head gasket. And then your mating surface. Um, quite simply, Make sure your mating surface is clean. Make sure the bottom surface of your head is clean where the mating surface is. Get your new gasket and you can get those by taking the numbers off of your ID tags and going to a number of online sites or go to your local Briggs & Stratton dealer and they should be able to order you your head gasket for you. That's how you get all your parts for uh, any of these engines is with the numbers off the engines. So, then how do we put it back on? Well, just the reverse. After everything's cleaned up, maybe I should turn this around and put it on the right way. Um, got all the bolts in place, didn't bother taking the bolts out of their respective holes. Uh, you can if you want to, it's not necessary. No, I had it right the first time. Uh, it's not necessary, but you can do just like I did, just lift things out. If you're lucky enough that the gasket comes off as easily as uh, this particular one did. But if not, uh, remove all your bolts, clean your gasket surfaces. Do not use an electric or an air powered wire brush to clean the head surfaces. You can go ahead and do that with the block because it's cast iron, you're not going to hurt it. Just use a scraper and get things cleaned up. If you've got a little bit of residual left, use abrasive paper on a flat surface a very fine abrasive paper start with 400 grit somewhere in that area and just move the head around until you get all of the mated surfaces and you make sure you use even pressure so then you get to that point I just finger start all my bolts in All the bolts have finger started. You can either use a hand, you know, regular ratchet, or I like to do things fast. So And these butterfly ratchets are just freaking awesome. I've got this one dialed back. They are adjustable here. I've got it dialed back so that I'm not exceeding the foot-pound torque recommendations on uh, putting these heads on. Most of the engines are 25 foot-pounds. Pretty simple. Get yourself a torque wrench. If you don't have a, a foot-pound torque wrench, you can use an inch-pounds, go online use a conversion scale to find out how many inch-pounds converts to 25 foot-pounds. So make sure you get set at 25 foot-pounds, which I did previously, and go through, and you want to do a crisscross pattern. So start away, and you're going to, well, I'll just show you, okay? You're going to come in until you click. There's my click. Then I'm going to come way over here, way over to the other side, in an X crisscross pattern like you would tighten down your lug nuts on your vehicle. There's two. Come back over to this side. There's my click. Back over here. It's kind of hard because this engine's not settled down. 
There's my click. Come back and just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And eventually, you will get all of them tightened down. I think I already did that one. Come here now. And straight across to the last one. Now, after you get all of the bolts tightened up, start run your engine, run your engine until it is at operating temperature. You know, 15, 20 minutes. Then let the engine cool. Go back and retorque. If you don't go back and retorque, because the head gasket's going to heat up and it's going to collapse a little bit so that the surfaces mate better. If you don't go back and retorque, then you run the risk of blowing another head gasket if you are replacing one that's uh, blown. So make sure that you retorque. It's just like after you change a wheel on your tire on your vehicle, after you've ridden it for 50 miles or so, you need to retorque them. Well, after you've run this for a little while, you need to retorque again. If you don't, like I say, you run the risk of blowing your new head gasket and having to order another one. So that's it. Um, pretty straightforward. Pretty easy. Uh, this also works the same for overhead valves. It is more involved because you have more that you have to do in order to install the push rods, adjust your rocker arms, you know, the whole nine. So, but as far as torquing the head itself down, same process. Crisscross as you go. Make sure your mating surfaces are good and clean and you should be golden. So that's uh, Zippo's small engine tip for today and I know it's been a while since I've done very many small engine tips and uh, if you guys saw where I was at in my shop you'd have to laugh because I have not been working on a whole lot of small engines here recently it's tree trimming and cutting season right now so I've been uh, pretty busy taking care of that and getting the wood supply up for uh, this winter so uh, let me show you guys here just real quick Howdy, howdy. Yep, and I'm getting the uh, lumberjack beard going, so I'll stay warm. And I've got hair on my head, too, so I'll stay warm. But, let's show you here. I am standing... Sorry. I am standing on a step stool way back in the corner of my shop. This is the very back corner of my shop right here. So if we look out here, there's the whole rest of the shop. It was the most, believe it or not, most easily accessible engine where I didn't have to lift the engine up and uh, pull it down, stick it on a work stand uh, to go through this video. So necessity is the mother of invention. Thank goodness for a step stool and a pretty versatile camera that will go just about anywhere. Wow, that hat's really crooked, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Now i got a twisty on top of my head because i got hair now. Uh, if you guys have um, any other small engine video requests that uh, you would like, just give me a shout. Um, I should be able to get to them in a fairly short order. The gentleman that I helped uh, uh, today with his uh, problem was, you know, this morning. And I'm making the video now. So um, typically I can try to, if it's uh, not a super in-depth video, I can get to it pretty quick. And... For those of you who don't like the Zippo Babble, you'll know when the actual main body of the video is over, because I'll say, that's it, that's all there is to it. So now you're just listening to me babble. Um, anyway, what else is going on here? Hmm. Quite a bit of other stuff, but we'll just leave you guys with uh, a little picture of my wall hangers old chainsaws that have gone on to a better world. Actually, that little John Deere down there, made by Remington, still runs. The uh, McCullough's Promax 700 still runs too. This one, I've not done anything with, and I, it came with a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, and there's the working bunch down there. And the uh, Husqvarna's hiding right there, back behind back behind a bunch of stuff but anyway um, like I say if you guys have uh, some other questions uh, or self-help videos you'd like for me to post on small engines give me a shout
it's been a while since I've done any and uh, kind of like to get back into them for you guys um, I co I've covered most of the engines forward to back top to bottom but uh, uh, there, there's always going to be something that I haven't uh, touched on that I would be happy to so give me a shout this is Zippo you guys can find me on Facebook search Zippo Varga I'm also on Twitter Zippo Varga Instagram Zippo Varga Facebook I think I already said Zippo Varga uh, I'm now on Pinterest, Zippo Varga, and um, just trying to get into all the social media houses so that anybody who needs help who isn't a member of one may be a member of the other and can find me. Um, and I also put posts up uh, of other notable small engine gurus out there. So I don't even consider myself a guru. I've just been doing this stuff so long. It's... Um, just kind of one of those well why don't I shoot a video to help some people out but anyway that's it you know the rest